everyone and welcome back to Upside on Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and today we are talking about the Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction Series 10 of 12 featuring the Haunted Mansion. So this is going up super late. Um, This collection came out in October. It is going to be going up probably mid-November um, by the time this goes up. But um, that is because I have the entire collection this time to show you guys. And it took me quite a while to get my hands on everything um, because of the March Pass situation. And then the online release was a mess. And then I had to get some park pickups and wait for things to ship from Shop Disney. And it was just all an absolute mess. <laughs> so obviously for Minnie Mouse Main Attraction, Disney has started doing this merch pass system where you can sign up to be entered into a lottery to win a chance to purchase these items. And it goes very bad for me. <laughs> um, I am not somebody who generally has luck with any kind of a lottery system or anything that requires like chance. So I was not picked for any of the items from the Haunted Mansion series, even though this is, you know, the Haunted Mansion is my favorite attraction. This is the month that I have been saying four months that I was so excited about. If you've watched any of my other Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction videos, I'm always like, I can't wait for the Haunted Mansion. I can't wait for the Haunted Mansion. Um, and so it, they released the previews. I thought it was beautiful. And I was like, I need to get my hands on absolutely everything from this collection. So of course I don't get picked for any of it. <laughs> so then they announced that they were releasing them the week after um, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday to the general public. Perfect. I thought I can get them then. <laughs> I was wrong. So I went on, they had the whole um, waiting room situation on the Shop Disney website and I was at work so I couldn't really be on my phone. So I couldn't go onto the app and kind of like bypass that. So I had to like sit there in the waiting room. The waiting room took me like 50 minutes literally to get through. Um, I eventually got a break at work where I could kind of get on my phone for a couple of minutes which was how I was able to order a few items. Um, but then there were some things that it was telling me were sold out. Unfortunately, everything sold out and I thought that that, you know, that was it. But then they announced that they were releasing them at the Disney parks on, you know, some random afternoon or morning, whatever. Um, and so I saw somebody in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in post that if anybody needed pickups done of any of the items um, to let her know and she would try to get her hands on them. And so I messaged her and was like, I would really, really appreciate it if you could try to get me the ears and the mug because at that point that was all that I hadn't gotten my hands on. And so she was like, okay, I'll try, no promises, because obviously, and the lines were like three hours long. And so thankfully she was able to get me just the ears. Um, but I was just super appreciative. She waited in line for like three hours to get these. I believe her name is Bruna. Um, so thank you so much for waiting in line. I hope that you were picking something up for yourself and that you were able to get whatever it was you wanted. Um, but I am super appreciative that you were able to pick up these ears for me um, and help me complete my Haunted Mansion Minnie Mouse Main Attraction collection. I promise you they went to a good home. As you can see, I'm wearing them now. Um, they are not gonna be resold or go anywhere promise um and then eventually the mug and the plush went back up on shop disney and i was able to order the mug at that point and so then waiting for shop disney to ship all of those things took like forever because it seems like if you order something with the initial drop on shop disney of like a limited release thing they will ship it out like that and you'll get it in like two days by the end of the week you will have your items but if you order it at a later point they're just kind of like eh, i don't care about the shipping also the mug came in this like gigantic box that was like literally bigger than me and it was just in like another like cardboard box and like thankfully there was a lot of bubble wrap in there but it was packaged just really horribly and I was like so scared because I've seen other people get um their mugs and things like that completely crushed so thankfully it came in one piece and was okay but um I've said it before and I'll say it again Shop Disney needs to fix their shipping but either way after that whole long debacle I finally got my hands on the entire set and now I can film this video for you guys. So I know I'm wearing an Aristocat shirt that doesn't really match my the ears or the I should wear a Haunted Mansion shirt I have like 30 of them but um yeah, I'm just kind of filming a bunch of, bunch of videos in one shot, so I'm wearing this Aristocat shirt for today. But um, yeah, so let's get started with the ears, since they are what is on my head and you are already seeing them. 
So these ears are absolutely adorable. I think they might be my favorite pair of Minnie Mouse the main attraction ears so far. Um, I really love the Tiki Room set and the Peter Pan set and the carousel ones, but these just like are absolutely gorgeous. So the ears themselves are just each all like sequins and they have like the different shades of green stripes going across them which is just so adorable and then you have this little like floral like crown detail on there that is black and purple um which are kind of like typical haunted mansion colors and then there in the center you have madame leota and then the headband is just this adorable like teal blue green color and then you have this like green um velvet fabric lining the inside of the ears making them super duper comfortable and then we just need to talk about the back of these ears because that is like the winner for me and what just makes these incredible so they have this super long veil on the back because everything kind of had this like constant the bride theme going with it um and then you have these little ribbons hanging down um which had the wallpaper print on them so I love that there's just like a subtle nod to the Haunted Mansion wallpaper print um, and kind of like the classic thing that people associate with the ride, but it was also a little bit different in that you got like some Constance and Madame Leota vibes and like a little bit of like um, the cast member like outfits that they wear. Um, so like the little ghost host outfit vibes. So yeah, I just thought this detail was absolutely stunning. I loved, I didn't realize that there was these little like ribbons hanging down. So I absolutely love these and thought that they just added such a nice little touch. And then here is the tag, so Minnie Mouse Main Attraction Series 10 of 12. And then inside is just a little information on the Haunted Mansion. And these ears were $34.99. Which, like 34.99 for ears is a little bit expensive um it's not that much more expensive than the disney parks ears um but i mean i think especially when you consider the little like extras that you get like the veil and everything um it totally makes the price justified for for this pair of ears and they are honestly like even more quality high quality than the parks ears that you get okay so next up is the mug so here it is in the box. This is the main attraction, limited release, series 10 of 12. And this is stackable with all of the other mugs. Um, so I think that I am going to keep every mug that I got. And so I am probably going to take them out of the boxes and stack them on top of each other, um, but still save the boxes just for like the collectible sake. Um, but you can see there that they do stack up on top of each other. And then again, there's just the same blurb about the Haunted Mansion. And then let me take the mug out. There's also the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction logo up at the top, which is super cute. And then taking the mug out of the box, it is absolutely adorable. Each mug has this like big mini bow in the center there um, that kind of resembles, you know, some aspects of the ears. So here it has Madame Leota there in the center. And then it is just this adorable green color with polka dots. And then the bottom of the mug, the handle and the inside also have this adorable green color. And then the outside of the mug is just the wallpaper print. And then again, in that same green color, you have the Haunted Mansion logo. So this is a super cute mug. Again, I like that it's like subtly has the wallpaper print just kind of like added in there but it has other details like madame leota um that you don't really see i mean i guess you see them kind of often in merch um but i feel like most like bags and mugs and things like that that come out for haunted mansion have the wallpaper print just all over them and that's all they are so i definitely appreciate um getting something different with this set and i definitely think that they did an awesome job also, sorry about the lighting. <laughs> um, the way that the sun is like coming in and hitting my room right now is just a little bit awkward, um, but we're just going to roll with it. So next up, I'm going to show the plush. And this is honestly one of my favorite plushes of the whole set. Um, the King Arthur Carousel one might be like a close second to it, but this one is just absolutely beautiful. So here she is. She is in this adorable wallpaper print dress with this adorable green coat over it that is just this like velvet, super like elegant coat with, you know, um, with this little black like lace detailing on it. And then she has this adorable little like um, bow around her neck that is the wallpaper print. 
and then the bottom she has like little shoes <laughs> which are super cute and then on her foot it says Minnie Mouse the main attraction series 10 of 12 and like all the other plushes she is super duper soft and I just absolutely love the colors the different shades of like the the bluish like green color that you see on the cast member uniforms and then up here she has a hat that kind of resembles the ears so it has the little flowers and Madame Leota there and then a little bow with the wallpaper print and some little ribbon hanging down with the wallpaper print and then just a little black ribbon and then she has a little veil that goes over her eyes and so that is Minnie she is absolutely adorable she was $29.99 and again she had, just has that same tag that the ears have um in the mug I forgot to give the price on the mug I believe the mug was $19.99 I don't see a price tag here um but I believe the mugs were $19.99 But yeah, so there is Minnie Mouse. She is super adorable and I am so excited that I have her as part of the Haunted Mansion collection. Next up we have the fanny pack from this collection and this is going to be my first Minnie Mouse main attraction bag. Um, there was no other month that I really um, was drawn to purchase the bag for just because I have so many lounge fly bags and it was kind of like the last thing I needed but um, for this month I had to have the whole collection and even though it was a fanny pack and not a backpack which I re really would have preferred a backpack um, I had to get my hands on it anyway and as far as fanny packs go it's pretty cute. <laughs> I think it would have looked way better as a full backpack but here it is so it features little mini ears and then it has sequins all over the sides here um, with that same like striped detailing that looks like the cast member outfits and then it has the Disney Parks Loungefly logo and then it has the same little like flower crown with the little Madame Leota detail there and then the rest of it is just this like green faux leather or vegan leather material and then the strap here is adjustable and then again it has the same tag that the other items have and this one was $50 and then it has a little zipper with the that is like a like wallpaper print and then opening it up inside it just has the wallpaper print all over there so super cute fanny packs definitely are not my thing I do have one other Disney lounge fly fanny pack um that I honestly got because it was rose gold but I never ended up using it um so this one might probably suffer the same fate especially because I don't want to like remove the tags and like ruin the bag but I did just really want it for the collectible value more so than anything so yeah there is the lounge fly Haunted Mansion, Minnie Mouse, the main attraction, fanny pack. And last but not least, we have the pins. Honestly, my favorite part of every Minnie Mouse, the main attraction collection um, is the pin set because I love collecting Disney pins and this month's were just absolutely stunning. So one pin featured Madame Leota, the other one featured a replica of the mini plush, and then another featured the replica of the ears. I absolutely love they even got the uh, veil detail on there. And then the backer card is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper and it says Minnie Mouse the main attraction up here in series 10 of 12 and then limited release down the bottom. And then the back again just has the little blurb about the Haunted Mansion and I love the detail of having um, like the little candelabra and the bell and the drums and everything on there. So definitely references to Madame Leota's room in the mansion. And this pin set was $19.99. And here's just a closer look at each pin. So Madame Leota there looking super pretty. And then mini. And then again, you have the ears with the adorable striped detail. Um, it looks like the cast member outfits. It also, I feel like this like shows up as wallpaper in the mansion at some point. Um, but yeah, this is just super stunning. I love this pin set. And now to add it to the Mini Mouse the Main Attraction binder. So to display all of the pins, they came out with this adorable binder with a little carving of Minnie Mouse um, etched in there. And then the first page has the completer pin and room for a photo. 
And then we have one and two on the series. And then months three and four, five and six, seven and eight, <laughs> nine. And then we are going to add 10 down here. So when you open it up, there's just a little flaps here that it secures in. And so you just slide the pins in and fold the flap over. And there the pins are in the pin book with the others. And then what I love about this pin book is the back also has like little photo pages where you can stick pictures and the right little like details. And has adorable Minnie Mouse prints on the bottom. Um, so yeah, I can use this as kind of like a scrapbook of Disney memories as well as holding some really adorable pins. So I absolutely love this book and how it's kind of like a dual purpose um, thing. So yeah, that is all that I have for today's video. That is the complete Minnie Mouse, the main attraction haunted mansion collection. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item from this collection was or just your thoughts on this collection in general. I absolutely love it. I think it is stunning. Um, I know it kind of wasn't for everybody. Um, some people had really strong opinions um, not liking it, but I think that it was just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and, and just everything about it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the upcoming Jungle Cruise collection and then how excited you are for month 12, which is going to feature the castle. I'm just super excited um, to see what they do for December's release. So if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Minnie Mouse Main Attraction videos. And as always, I hope that you guys have a magical week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.